Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm getting ready to go out um, to dinner with my husband and my parents so I thought I would go ahead and record doing this. Um, I went and I got a few things from the drugstore to do more of a drugstore look. Because I'm going out I'm still going to use a lot of my products that I know work for me but I am going to use the Makeup Revolution palette um, and reloaded and when I was looking at it, it looks an awful lot like the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture I'm gonna do some comparing swatches and stuff later on but for right now I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into getting ready because I only have about an hour um, before we have to leave so um, I will hold up whatever products I'm gonna be using and then if you guys have any questions more you know more specifically about it you can just leave them in the comments and I will make sure to answer them so I'm gonna scoot you guys closer and we'll go ahead and get started on my eye look okay so I've already primed and set my eyes I used my pink pot my paint pot in soft ochre and I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm a little bit nervous because I've never used this palette before so I'm not sure what the pigments gonna be like how it blends or anything like that but I'm gonna go ahead and start um, with a transition color I think I'm gonna do some uh, like I think we'll go with like golds and oranges. Um, so I'm gonna start with these colors, but for my transition, I'm gonna start with this one just to make sure that I have something down there since I just don't know how this is going to blend at all. Um, I'm using my uh, Veramona color switch. I just got a new one. So I'm gonna wipe that off. And mm, not a lot of kickback on it. And then let's see here. So that is pretty similar to the color that I used to set everything down with, but that's okay. Because like I said, I don't know how this is going to blend, so I don't mind having that extra shadow down so i'm gonna go into let's do this one right here and i'm just gonna use the same brush i'm using a morphe 573 i'm gonna dip into that again the kickback's not um super bad and let's go ahead and start placing this here hello what are you doing? I have to call my dad. It's his birthday. Oh, tell him I said happy birthday. Oh. And can you shut that door behind you? So Bobby, come here. The news isn't playing. Come on, Bubs. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come poop in the closet. <sighs> now I have to edit this. Now you have to edit what? That part. Why? Is it recording? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Hilarious. Okay, so that went on pretty well. Um, I don't see any skipping. It's not really patchy. So, so far, so good. I'm going to take a little bit of a smaller brush. I'm going to do my Morphe. Uh, it's just the white one. I don't know what the number is. So it's just a Morphe white. And it's um, a tapered blending brush and blending brush and I'm gonna go in with the color right next door which is this darker color right here and I'm gonna bring that a little bit below and closer to my actual crease So far, the pigment's actually really good. Um, I don't, I'm not having any problem with it blending or anything, so. Not a lot of fallout either, which is also nice. Okay, so far so good. 
Now I'm going to take a smaller brush and I think I will do I think I will do uh, this color right here. Sorry if you hear that in the background. My husband's talking to his parents. All right, so I'm going to put that on um, one of the brushes that Liz made for me. This is the Sigma E30. And like I said, I'm going to tap into that dark greenish color. And I'm just going to put that right here in my crease. And I'm only going to go about halfway in the crease. And then here on the outer corner. Not as pigmented as I had expected. Um, but not a lot of fallout either. And I would always, I mean, I love very pigmented shadows but I would much rather have to there's some fallout I would much rather have to build it up than have it be way too much right at the beginning because it's always a pain trying to blend out a darker color so I definitely have some fallout which is not a huge deal to me because I do my eyes first for that very reason so I'm just going to continue to pack a little bit of this more on right here in my crease and I'm not being super careful about that because what I'm going to do is just grab another brush and I'm going to blend that out with my Smith uh, 254. It's kind of flat and I'm going to dip into that just barely, tap that off, and then I'm going to actually blend it out with this. This just helps me to keep it more specific and it doesn't like grow bigger and bigger and bigger as I'm blending it out. I picked up these Smith brushes when I was at the makeup show in Orlando and I love them. They are great for hooded eyes. Okay, I like how that blended out. So see how it kept it more in the crease and then down rather than blowing it up um, toward my eyebrows. That's why I kind of pack it on there and then bring it in with this um, tapered brush. It just helps me to control the way that I'm blending that out. And since it's such a dark color, I don't want to take it all the way to the inner corner like that. I'm going to be using um, another, actually I'm going to be using one of my Stila um, Oh, the Magnificent, magnificent Metals I'm going to be putting um, on the inside there. But the first thing that, or the next one that I want to put on, actually, let me grab my other Smith brush. This is a Smith 253. So it's pretty similar to the one that I just used, but much smaller. Um, let's do the bronze color. I'm going to go in with this color right up here. and pack that right here on the center. Now I'm definitely not going to be judgmental about this not having a lot of payoff because I didn't wet it. So even with my high-end brands, I, I have to wet them. So to me, I don't, that's not too bad. Um, there's a little bit there. It's definitely not what I want, but again, I'm not going to say that that has anything to do with the shadow itself because any other, any other, <coughs> excuse me, any other shadows that I use, I would definitely be using uh, setting spray or whatever. And today I'm using my um, Slay All Day and Mango. This stuff smells so freaking good. Oh, my brain is not working. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because I'm in a time crunch and I'm a little bit freaking out. So anyway, if you do use that Slay All Day, for your shadows do not use much because the stuff is super intense and I'll, well I'll show you the stuff is no joke when it says setting spray it is a setting spray
yeah, and that definitely amped that up. So again, I, I feel like this palette is probably pretty good. Um, I'm going to go into that green shade that was right underneath of it. Hmm, wait a minute now. Okay. Now I did just try to pick up any, I mean, I tried to pick up just any at all and I'm getting nothing. I mean, not even, not even a little bit. So I don't know. I'm going to try and dig into that. If I can't get it to work, then I will just grab my actual subculture palette and use that. Um, I just really dug into it and I put a little spray on it. Let's see here. Hmm. I don't, I don't really care for that one very much. So I'm just going to grab my, the actual subculture and I'm going to go into the color that I think they're trying to emulate. And this is electric and I'm going to pick that up and I mean, just barely touching it and look at that. You can see, um, how easy that is to pick up. I'm going to spray a little bit of that on there so I don't have any fallout. And let's give this a shot. Yeah, that's much better. Yeah, I like that a lot better. All right, I'm gonna grab some more and do that to the other eye. I'm not even gonna put more setting spray on it. So I think the Makeup Revolution one it definitely wasn't as pigmented, but it also the difference that I'm noticing is it was super glittery. Whereas the electric is a really pretty green and it definitely has pretty green color to it, but it's not as glitter glittery as the makeup revolution one is. You can see the difference between, so this one has the makeup revolution underneath and this one doesn't. So I think I'm going to have to go ahead and pick up a little bit of that makeup revolution to make them be evened out because of the glitter. But my preference is definitely the electric color for this specific um, color. All right, and then I'm just gonna bring that over to kind of blend it into that bronze that we have in the middle. And then I am just going to take my, the second blending brush that I used, and that was the Morphe. And I'm not gonna put any extra product or anything on it. I'm just gonna take it and go right over everything to blend that out one more time. And I'm going to put a little bit more on the outer corner there. I was thinking that I was going to do um, I was thinking that I was going to do the Anis, or, um, the Stila but I don't know. I'm kind of, now that I'm doing this, I'm kind of feeling this look as it is. So I don't think I'm going to. So I'm just going to deepen up that outer corner uh, and that's with that color that they're trying to emulate, I believe, is maybe Untamed or Axis. I'm not 100% not sure there which one they're trying to do. Okay, so I used Axis on this side, and I used this one, which is the closest to Axis from the Makeup Revolution, and I definitely prefer the um, one from the Anastasia palette. So I'm just going to go back over here and deepen it up, but I will say that as far as pigment goes and the way that it blended, I think it's a good palette. Um... I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like only eight bucks or something like that. Seven or eight dollars compared to the Anastasia palettes. Um, so if you're looking for a drugstore version, I think I think it's a good version for sure. Um, 
But since I have the Anastasia, Anastasia one, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, use that to blend this out. But I do think that it's a pretty good option. I really like this. I'm gonna go back into the center and pick up that bronze color that we used um, in the center. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of the setting spray on it and I'm just gonna put that right there back in the center to kind of brighten that back up. I kind of blended it away when I did the green and then put that blue back down. I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna do one last little blend here. Let me grab my Smith brush again. And just go back right here. All right, I like how that turned out. All right, I'm gonna clean up underneath and then we will move on to my complexion. And then we will come back to the eyes to finish it up. What time is it? Gotta get a move on. I really like that a lot. So I definitely would say that this is a pretty decent palette. I'm using um, Jade Olive. It's number 910 from the Maybelline New York Lasting Drama Matte. And it's a new eyeliner that they have out. And I picked it up at Ulta. And I cannot remember the price. But again, um, actually I know they were buy one, get one half off at Ulta. I remember that. Um, so I think I probably end up paying maybe $4 for it, something like that. The brown color is right here and it is super duper pretty. I'm gonna use that. Um, for my tight line. Ah, oh, crud. Leave it to me to fix that. All right, just let me grab that little brush and I'll just put a little bit of that and blend that right out. Yeah, I wasn't sure that I was gonna like the blue and then bronze and the green, but I really, I like it a lot actually. I love when I have no idea what I'm going to do and it just works out. It's what makes makeup so much fun. I'm actually going to take this, what color is it called? Rusty Terracotta and it's another of the Maybelline. And I'm going to put that underneath where I just put that jade color. And then we're going to blend that out. I like that. Yeah, that's a pretty color. So I like these as well from the drugstore, really nice. All right, let me grab a pencil brush, maroon color. It looks like it's trying to be the color All Star. So let's try that and see how it works. Oh, that one's very pigmented. Well, that was enough to do both sides. 
So it seems like the majority of the colors from the Makeup Revolution is pretty pigmented. Again, I think that the Anastasia is definitely going to be more pigmented, but the price difference is a lot. So if you're wanting a drugstore option for that, I would say that that's a good match. All right, so now that I've got that, after I do my complexion, we'll come back and we'll smoke that out a little bit more. But I am going to use my Tatcha for my primer. And I'm just going to work that right here. Just where I get or where I have the biggest pores and on my chin. Okay, I am going to quickly put on my false lashes, some mascara, and uh, finish up my top, um, the top of my eyelids, and then I will be back to finish up my complexion with you guys. Okay, I went ahead and put on some falsies and a uh, accidental wing happened, which, Whatever, turned out fine. I am going to be using the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I love this foundation. It is so good, you guys. The coverage is amazing. It lasts forever. It's what I was telling you guys about before, um, the drugstore foundation that I have been trying. I absolutely love it. I highly recommend it. Um, I, To me, it's comparable to my um, Smashbox, which you know I love that. So, and it has a pump, it has a nice glass container. So, FYI, when you get it, you have to actually turn this part right here, not the pump itself. So, I'm going to go ahead and pick some of that up off the back of my hand. And that is not a great match. But I can mix it with the other one. How are the brows? Oh, well, they're so pretty intense. Really? Yeah. Can't win with you. All right, I'm switching over to the other. Oh yeah, that's much better. I find the finish to be um, like a semi-matte. It's definitely not totally matte, but it's not satin, not dewy. So I think that this would actually work with definitely oily skins. Um, I would say combo. If you're super dry, I would definitely use a hydrating base. Ugh. So if you're super dry, I would use a hydrating. Please. Boca. Thank you, Sandy. So if you're super. So if you're super. She's doing it on purpose. So if you're super dry, I would definitely use a hydrating base or primer. The Angel Veil by NYX is really good. Okay, so it has really good coverage. I, I like it a lot. And I can tell you it lasts a long time. Use my Born This Way concealer and just put a little bit underneath, down my nose, oh, in the center. And to create the highlight. Oh my God. Boca. Straight up back talking. Could you book a boat? Thank you. We have not been able to go out on the boat. 
I think we might have gone once or twice after Katie left, but um, not much since. It has been horrible with the red tide here, and then of course we've had the hurricanes. So hopefully the red tide is gone and we will be able to get out on the boat um, before it gets too cold. But this summer has been not great. And then for my drugstore powder, and I use this anyway, I think it's great. It's the Flower Beauty, and I use the color L, I think it's L1, yeah, L01. Um, this is upside down, but I already have my powder in there, so I'm not going to flip it. It has the rose gold on it, and it, the color is the L01. Honestly, Boca, um, I liked this better than the just plain translucent one. I think it works great. It has a little bit of extra coverage, which I appreciate that too. Um, but it definitely helps to keep me matte in the places where I get oily. Most people, if you get oily, most people get oily in the same place, which is their T-zone. So that's where I like to use it. And then whatever I have left, I'll just take what's on my beauty blender and just press it into the skin. Where'd it go? Where's my Marc Jacobs? This video has been a fail almost from the beginning. All right, I'm gonna use my Marc Jacobs Tantastic, and I'm gonna use this to bronze up, and then I'm actually gonna go back in with my new Marc Jacobs that has a little bit of a glow to it. I'll show it. I think I used it in one of my other videos, but I'll show it to you anyway. But the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, those are really, really good. They last. They're not patchy. So if you're looking for a good drugstore version for a um, powder, that's it. If you are my skin tone or deeper, then it, it's not going to be dark enough for you. This is the Marc Jacobs that I was talking about. It's called Guilty. And it just has a really pretty glow to it. I'll show you. That. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on my bronzer brush. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to go over my cheeks. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. All right, I'm going to dip into that orangish color and go right below. All right. So we got the top highlighted. All right, now we're just going to do mascara. I picked up the new Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hour Last Lash Extension Mascara with Lengthening Fibers. Um, you know that on the daily, I love my <clears throat> I love my Essence Lash Princess. I, Princess, I use this all the time, regardless of um, what kind of look I'm doing, because I love it. I think it's a great mascara. But I thought I would pick this up and see what I think. Did you find a boat? <clears throat> yeah. What day? 23rd and 29th. It's forever away. There was nothing sooner? Uh, no, Friday was booked. I guess I could look at Saturday. I like it. Um, I don't think it's any better than the Lash Princess. That's just my favorite. I think it works so well. Um, I will do my bottom lashes when I'm finished. I'm going to quickly grab the um, Translucent Glow, and this is by Laura Mercier. I'll put a little bit of that in the lid. This stuff is fantastic. I, I, I cannot recommend this enough. I did pick up the brush that actually goes with it. Because it just hugs and contours perfectly. That is so pretty. 
All right, let's put on some blush. I'm going to use where's it at? the LA Girl Just Blushing, and this is in the shade Just Rosy. Looks like this. My blush brush is right here. Oh, this stuff is super pigmented, by the way. Cheeks. I'm gonna go ahead and use my setting spray to set everything. It smells so good. My fan. A lip liner. I am going to be using Gerard, Co Gerard Cosmetics um, and Spice, right? Sugar and Spice. Um, good drugstore lip liners are essence. They're great. I am going to use Mile High the Hydrogel by Gerard Cosmetics. That is pretty. These are super comfortable, long wearing. The colors are gorgeous. Um, Cher is a beautiful color for the fall. That is, that's pretty. I love that. That is again, Mile High by Gerard Cosmetics. As you know, I have a 20% off coupon. I will put that in my description as well as a link to um, Liz's Etsy shop. Okay, so that is the finished look. I think that the palette was really good. Um, the pigmentation was pretty. I'll see how it wears, but like I said, it went on great. I definitely find it um, comparable to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette. Um, some of the colors I preferred over the other palette, but if you're looking for a good drugstore version, I would say that that's it. Uh, thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the description. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, God bless. Remember, there are no such thing as disabilities, only different abilities. Have a great night. Bye-bye.